this is the hottest ticket in town. Look at this glorious amphitheater right here on the edge of the Hudson River. It is spectacular. The river views and then go ahead and look up, up, up because you're surrounded by this glorious park that has been planted like an exquisite botanical garden just right off the edge of the West Side Highway, which you do not hear at all. Go ahead and take a look at some of the video that we have taken throughout the day, other nooks and crannies and beautiful spots that you have here on Little Island. It is just a splendiferous oasis for New Yorkers and tourists, yes, alike. You can get in here almost all day long. It's only closed five hours a day in the overnight night hours after 1 a.m. There is timed entry from noon until 8 p.m. so it doesn't get overcrowded. And we had the chance to speak also with the landscape architect to talk about what you'll experience once you're inside. Um, each time you make a turn in the path, you see something else. You either see the city, you see the water, you see into the park. And so it's a, it's a choreography of what you see. And that, that is the experience that I actually have to say I'm happy worked out the way we thought. And so the way this works is for the art spaces, part of these tickets will be free, part will be low cost, part will be at market value. Only 687 seats in this intimate space. The first act up is in the middle of June. It'll be Broadway voices singing as a chorus some of the great hits that you know and love and haven't been able to get access to for about a year and a half is what it's going to be by the time it's all said and done. Guys, this is just a spectacular place. I can't wait for you to get out here too. And I'm voting for the show to go on the road and to be here live as well. I mean, just look at these views. Exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. I am with you on that. It is phenomenal. But let me ask you, you talked about the time entrances. I'm sure that's how they're trying to uh, make sure that folks aren't overcrowding the space with social distancing and whatnot. But so do you have to go online to get a ticket per se? How does that work? So you go, yeah, you go online to get a ticket and you also go online to get those timed entries in order to get in here during the peak hours of noon to 8 p.m. Otherwise, if you're an early bird, if you've got kids that roused you up early or a dog that you need to walk, you can walk on over here and get in. But I do have to say dogs are not allowed in the park unless they're service animals. Okay, good to know. All good information. We cannot wait to get out there. You have the assignment of the day. Thank you, Kirsten.